Hello and welcome. Hi og velkommen. My name is Malena, or in Danish, Meline, because I am in fact a Danish knitter coming to you from the northern part of Denmark. Here on YouTube, I am the playful knitter, but also Streik a Musik, because I did start this channel out podcasting in Danish. But now I am podcasting in English, and I have to tell you that it is just such a joy for me because I get to meet up with all you guys from all over the world, and that is just truly a pleasure. So thank you so much for being here. If you're new, welcome. This is my channel where I talk about all my knitting. Um, and I sprinkle it with a little bit of music. I am a musician, so I play it on my piano. And I try to always have it related to knitting. And I have that today too. I have a knitter of the day, not a podcaster of the day this time, but a knitter of the day. And um, it's a good one. So yeah, I am kind, I'm kind of excited about this one, I have to say. So yeah. But I live here in Denmark uh, with my husband, our two girls, and our two cats. And I mention the cats because they probably will make some sort of disturbance. They've been sleeping the whole morning. It's about 10.30 right now. Um, I'm Since I am a music teacher, I can't teach the kids until they're out of school because I teach them music after school. So I don't have to go to work until 4 p.m. So, yeah. Some days I have like kindergartens to go to in the morning or daycares or something but not today and finally I get to sit down and talk to you guys I've been wanting to for so so long and today finally the pieces have aligned the kids are at school the husband is at work I am home things are quiet except for the cats <laughs> so let's just cross our fingers that this will get Record it today because this is my last chance in August, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but why don't we just jump on in and talk about what we're here for? The knitting. Yeah. Dude, just if you want to do something, come say hi. Come make an appearance instead of making noise in the background, okay? <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay. I love to knit my socks. You might know that if you've been here before, but today I also have a wonderful, amazing thing off the needles, one of my FOs, that is not a pair of socks. It is the Anthology Throw by Helen Stewart. I knitted mine uh, using my advent calendar from a homespun house from last year, 2022. And let me tell you, I loved this knit. It is just, it was amazing to knit. I love knit stitches. They're my favorite. I can knit a bazillion knit. Dude, I can knit a bazillion knit stitches and not get bored. That's just me. The anthal a little. That's like a tongue tie for me. An anthology throw is like a round, a blanket knitted in the round. So lots and lots, lots of wonderful knit stitches and a bit of, a bit of lace, just a tiny bit to break up the knit stitches. That's very nice. Oh, and there he is. Come say hi. This is my boy. Mm. Such a good boy. I will let you go outside in a minute after I talk about this blanket, okay? Maybe. All right, go on. <laughs> I hope that did not make too much noise in the microphone. If so, I do apologize. I am experimenting with the placement and uh, if this doesn't work, I'll do something else next time, okay? So please just bear with me. <laughs> you start in the middle and you just go round and round and round. You do some increases and then you end with this beautiful border that will look even better after I block it. I have not washed any of my knits today. Life is busy, you guys. I just started work again after the summer break and you know, the girls are back at school and we have to get, you know, everyday life going again. It is crazy. 
and every year when I start up with new students and there's all kinds of meetings and plans that have to be made, I feel like I should be like an octopus or something in order to get all these things done. This is, as I might have mentioned, I don't remember because my brain's kind of crazy. So I apologize if I say something twice or refer to something that I haven't said. <laughs> um, it is about 11 o'clock in the morning or yeah, did you call that morning? Whatever. <laughs> Doom. Because I don't have to go to work until 4 p.m. today. And that's just my life as a music teacher because I teach either kindergarten in the morning or daycare. But if it's uh, the school kids, I don't teach them until they're off from school. And today is ballet day. I teach the youngest and I'm also playing the piano for another ballet teacher. I don't dance myself, so I co-teach with a ballet teacher and then I am in charge of the music part, teaching them you know, about music and notes and rhythms and all that fun stuff. So yeah, so that's my day. And finally, I get to sit down here and talk to you guys. I've been wanting to forever, yeah. Okay, but this is the Anthology Throw by Helen Stewart. As I already mentioned, I know that, but look at this beauty. A homespun house. If you want like a mindless knit where you can just sit and go round, round, round all the knit stitches, I cannot recommend this more. I want to knit another one. I don't know when because, you know, all the projects are that I want to knit are just so many and time is, well, sparse. I don't have enough time, but I do have socks off the needles as well. These ones, I call them my vintage, vintage flag socks. I started them with the blue and the white, wanting to do like a helix sock. And then I got this far and I was like, no, I don't want to do helix anymore. What can I do? And then they kind of reminded me of the stars in the American flag, the stars by the stars and stripes. And I was like, hmm, I do have a red. Let's see what we can do with that. So I made a pair of shorties and I did them in July. So maybe that was why I was thinking about it with the 4th of July. Maybe I should gift these to my host mom. She's in Texas now. I was in Wisconsin when I was a foreign exchange student way back in the day. We lived up in the very cold Wisconsin. I loved it, but she's in Texas now. So maybe knitted socks are not really, I don't know, some days. I think they're fun anyways. And then I also finished my Get Shorty socks. These, let me just say one more thing about these. They're just vanilla socks with stripes. I knit them on uh, 2.25 millimeter Chagu needles. That's what I usually do. The blue yarn is by Birke Fipa, a Danish yarn dyer that doesn't dye yarn anymore. Uh, she also did this white one, it's called Lemon Curd. This blue one is called Frederick VI, one of the Danish kings. And the red one is by a homespun house and it is called, hmm, it's not rhubarb. The Danish word is and I can't remember what it's called right now. Beetroot. Yeah, beetroot. <laughs> Can you say the Danish word for beetroot? Well, Now that's a tongue crusher. <laughs> All right. All over the place today. I'm sorry. On to the next ones. The Get Shorty Socks. This is a pattern by Irene. Uh, Irene is one of the sweet ladies on the three ply podcast and I was just watching their newest episode. It was such so fun because Irene was saying like mm, I noticed an increase in the sales of my get shorty patterns and she's like why and then she had watched my previous episode and she's like oh that might be why 
And as I was watching that episode, I was like, hmm, there's an increase in subscribers. I wonder why. And they had been so sweet to mention me. And I guess that was why. So thank you so much. <laughs> Isn't that funny how everything just goes round and round? I just love that. We can support each other. That's just such fun. This pattern, I just loved. It has a, a heel I had never tried before. It's called a strong heel. And I can definitely recommend it. No picking up stitches for the gusset or anything. It's so cool. And this yarn is a Piratenwolle. It's a German yarn. It does not have a colorway. Um, and actually, I should mention that everything I talk about, patterns, yarn, um, yarn dyers, stores, anything, will be uh, in the description box below. So right below this picture of me, you can just push more or view more or whatever and it'll drop down and there should be all the information for you and if i forgot something that you want to know please just leave me a comment i'll be happy to answer as best as i can last pair of socks off my needles is of course my august socks in a lonely sock lady yarn lona is hosting the year the this oh, <clears throat> Lona is hosting the Knit Along This Year, the challenge, where you knit a pair of socks in her yarn every year. And then if you finish and you're, it's all complete, you get a skein, a, a special, specially dyed skein of yarn. And I'm trying my best because I want, I want those stripes because Lona is just absolutely amazing, amazing with her colors. This colorway is called Melancholy. It is part of her uh, sock club this year. Um, she has dyed up yarn for two different, inspired by two different songs. And this is the Rose Garden. And it's called Melancholy. And I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this contrast that came with it. As I think it's just, in Denmark, we would say it dots the eye. Cherry on top. It's a cherry on top. And I finished just in time, so yay! I am now ready for the September socks, but I cannot cast those on until September 1st. So of course, I have other things on my needles. Let me get them out and I'll show you. Okay, so for whips, the first pair I want to show you was actually a test knit. I test knitted it for Marta, um, a wonderful lady that I did a yarn swap with. I will show you the yarn from that swap again later. I've shown it before, but I have made some progress on the socks that I'm knitting with it. But let me first show you this. Now, this is actually supposed to be part of the acquisitions, but since there's a project in there, I want to show you now because I am ridiculously excited about this project bag. It is so cute. Look at this. It is the Mood, one of their new ones. It's, um, do they just call it a small Saturn bag? I don't know. I'll put that for you on the screen what the name of this one is. There, there's a larger one and it's called Saturn Setuan in Danish. It comes with this handle that you can put on there. I, I don't know if I'm gonna use that, but it's nice that it's there. And it fits a small project, like a sock project. So that is, of course, what I have in here. And as you can see, I have the pattern. I have the sock that is done and the sock that I'm working on and the yarn. Now, I think that this is pretty good for a tiny bag like this. Plus, you know, it's leather and it's wonderful. Now, if you like these products, you have to hang on because we have a giveaway from the last time that we have to draw a winner of, but there's also a new giveaway going on that is sponsored by Mood. It's not this type of bag, but it's something equally as good. All right, this is not on a sock blocker. It should have been, but it's not. These are the I Feel So Lucky Socks. 
and they're just amazing. I'm doing a shorty version. And I just cast on for the second sock. It's been hibernating for a while because this summer I've just been so into the test knits. And they're all secret, which is kind of annoying <laughs> because I love to share. So I do also have a test knit on my needles right now. That is a secret and it's taking up quite a lot of my knitting time. And since there's not a lot because of work starting back up, you know. But I am thankfully still getting some time in with my socks. I just, every time I turn to something else, my brain just goes, I want to knit, a, I want to knit socks. So it's just, it makes me happy. People ask me, what do you do with all those socks? Do you wear them? What, do you gift them? What do you do? Um, I look at it this way. I will never again have cold feet. Which is kind of weird said that I say that because I never have cold feet. I'm actually a very warm-footed person. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> so like all through the summer and some of the spring and some of the fall, I will go with my bare feet in my sandals. But, you know, you can never have too many socks. And I do gift a lot. And then, you know, it's my collection. It's pretty. It makes me happy. Colors. Oh, makes me happy. It's like when I open my yarn closet and I look at the skeins in there and I don't need them right now because I don't have them on my needles, but they make me so happy. All the colors. Color joy. It's a thing. <laughs> and speaking of color joy, in this amazing bag from my friend Anameta with my name on it, I have my grannies in a row socks and I've picked those back up as well. They, I am knitting them from this just amazing yarn. I really, really wish that you could feel this. This is so soft, so soft and scrumptious. I was gifted this yarn um, so I could test it by Henriette of by Kielerek. She also is a yarn dyer. Uh, I will link her store down below, but just in accordance to Danish law, I have to say if things are sponsored or it's an ad or it's a gift. So, you know, nothing is hidden. Everything is out in the open. So that's why I'm saying that all the time because we have to. It's called Gassel, Happy Feet. Can you maybe see it? Yeah, I think so. I've talked about it before, so I won't go into any more detail, but I will link Henrietta's store in the description box below. So if you want to go check it out, I got all the neon colors. They come in a variety of colors, you know, just earth tone, soft, whatever you would like, you can get it. And I am knitting the grannies in a row sock. <laughs> And I'm kind of just, you know, knitting a little bit on one and then on another. So I have one and these stitch holders, barber cord, I think it's called. And then these ones that I'm knitting on. I just finished the blue and the next color is yellow, but I have not added it yet. I think what kind of stopped me in my tracks with these ones is that I'm kind of a perfectionist. I like things to be nice. And first of all, I wasn't really happy about the way I did the granny squares. It was, I had done granny squares before, but I think I maybe I made like a doll blanket for Ella when she turned five. I gifted a crochet doll to her at that birthday. I think it was when she turned five. So that's seven years ago. <laughs> And you know, picking up the stitches and having it look nice, and I was just, ugh, I wasn't happy with my work. There, I wasn't happy with my work. Um, but I finally just, you know, got it together, picked it up and said, oh, hey, let knitting be knitting, let's get it done. So now I'm done with the picking up of the stitches and it's just plain knitting until the socks are done. And it's, 
I just want to say it's nothing to do with the pattern. It is well described. It is well written. It is beautiful, a beautiful pair of socks you get when you're done with it. I just had to mm, I had to save up some energy and some focus in order to get these done. But now I am so happy that they're back in my hands and I can get them done so I can wear them. Actually, they might not be for me because Ella, my youngest, she's tall, 12. She's been eyeing this yarn since it came in the door and I brought it home after the knitting event in Nubo and that was on June 3rd. So she's been looking at this yarn for a long time. She's like, mom, if there, if there are leftovers, can I have it? She's a crocheter, can I have it? And I'm like, yeah, you can have it. So since I said that, she's been like, are you done? Are you done? <laughs> no, honey, I'm not done yet. But I think she would also really like socks because she likes to wear hand knit socks and she loves colors. So they'll probably be for Ella. Yes. All right. Two more pairs of socks. Let's go with these ones. These are the quilted stripes socks. And uh, they are by Dana Ray Makes. Oh my gosh, does she have the most amazing socks in her Ravelry store? If you don't know her, go check her out. She will be linked with this pattern in the description box. Um, but uh, you can just click on her name and see all the other wonderful pattern patterns that she has. The Quilted Stripes Socks. I'm knitting these with yarn by all sorts of different uh, British yarn dyers. These are, this is the yarn from my wool swap. And I have this sock that is almost done, but I put it on a stitch holder because um, we traded all these like little nuggets. And I, I'm not really sure um, if I have enough and I want to try and make them the same. Normally I don't really care, but I thought that I will give myself this challenge this time to make them the same if possible. So I've started the second sock and we'll knit until I reach this part and then we'll see how the rest of the foot and the toe is gonna be. And it is in this gorgeous bag that was also in the swap. This is by So Sweet Violet. The last vanilla sock pair on my needles today are these ones. I had told myself that I should not buy any more yarn because I will tell you already now that I might have gone a tiny bit crazy with the advent calendars this year. Uh, yeah. Let's just stay that and then leave it until a little further on. <laughs> but then Instagram happened. Oh my gosh, what is up with Instagram? All the inspiration. And I just, I love opal yarns. And this is what, this is opal yarns. I, ha, I had seen before that they had a line with, uh, that was inspired by Van Gogh paintings. And I was like, no, I don't need that. And you know, yeah, I, I don't need that. But then I saw somebody who had bought like the entire line and this color in particular and a couple of others that just caught my eye. And then I found out that there's a online store in Denmark. I don't know if they ship worldwide, yarnliving.com, where I could get them for like I don't know, 20 corners cheaper than in the stores. And I just, let's be honest, I just jumped at it. I bought all eight different colors I'll show you in the acquisition part. And I cast these on, boof. Yep. I don't know if they're going to be for me or if they're going to be for Lars. Um, I cast on 64 stitches on a 2.5 millimeter needle because I use that for opal mostly all other yarns I use 2.25 but for opal 
or Regia or something like that, West Yorkshire Spinners, I use 2.5. So 64 stitches, normally for myself, I cast on 56, but I thought um, if they end up being for me, I'll just use them like as house socks. And uh, if Lars wants them, there will be a perfect fit. And look at my little progress keeper over here. It's a gift from Three by the Sea Designs. Becky sent this one and another one for me because my boy's on there. I have to tell you, it just makes me so happy. I sit there and it's like, oh, there's my boy. And there he is for real. Because when I'm in my knitting chair, he's usually like on, what do you call that? Well, right here behind my head and I can just cuddle with him it's so nice <laughs> let me show you the color in the skein and here's the painting that inspired the yarn the colorway is number five four three seven and normally uh, if it's not their um, subscription, they will have names, but I'm not really sure. It just says, In variation nach Vincent van Gogh. In, vari in variation from Vincent van Gogh. So, yeah, but at least we will have the colorway number that is 5437. I think it's gorgeous. You know, and it's just, it's so motivating because you just want to see, okay, so what comes next? I just has, I just, I just have to knit a little bit more. What comes next? <laughs> I have another pair of socks or two actually on my needles that I want to show you, but it is a new design. And before I tell you about that, I want to tell you about the knitter of the day. So a little bit of prehistory. Uh, my girls and I, we went to see the new Barbie movie. And as I was sitting there watching it, I loved it by the way, um, I remembered that I had read somewhere online that Ryan Gosling, who plays Ken, he's a knitter. And I was like, hmm, maybe he should be the knitter of the day next time I podcast. And he is. And I Googled, and read a little bit about how he started knitting. And apparently it was um, when he was making a movie back in 2007, I think. Um, and he had this whole long day of taping and he was doing a knitting scene with some older ladies, as he said. Um, and they just, they had a lot of waiting time, they had to wait a lot. So he asked them, could they teach him to knit? And he said it was just the best day ever. So apparently, if you want to hang out with Ryan Gosling, bring your knitting and just have a whole day of knitting because that is his dream day. He can come hang out with me. That'd be fine. We can knit. <laughs> I wonder if he likes tea as well, because then perfect match. We could be friends. <laughs> So if you're watching this, Ryan, you can come be friends with me. We'll drink tea and knit. <laughs> All right. So with no further ado, I invite you to sit back, relax, and let your stitches flow.
bit of a short piece of music today, but I do hope that you still got maybe a couple of rounds on your sock or some stitches on whatever project you're working on. Maybe you're crocheting, maybe, maybe you're cross stitching. I don't know. Either way, I hope you had a, a little bit of flow. <laughs> okay. I am equally excited and a tiny bit nervous to show you guys this. Um, I have never had any aspirations of being a knitwear designer. Um, but then my friend Karin from Streck Aromantik, that is also a podcast, a Danish one, but I'll still link it down below because I do know that some of you Danes are still hanging in there and watching. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we, we were invited to design a pair of socks for the knitting event, Knit in Denmark's Heart, and we did. And after that, we just, ideas sprung into our heads and we did another sock. And we hope that it will be out for Socktober. We still have to have a test knit. More info on that over on Instagram. I am the playful knitter over there as well. I don't think I've mentioned that. I always, I always forget, always forget. When I'm editing, I'm like, okay, so you forgot your Instagram name again, Melina. So the, the playful knitter, yeah. But this is what we came up with. Back to the 80s socks. I only have one completely done because I'm working on a different size and a different yarn. And again, I have to say that this yarn was sponsored by Henriette by Kielerich. She, she sponsored this yarn for us to do the design. Karn is knitting in a different yarn from its yarn. She's um, Marlena Malene sponsored her yarn. So we have different sponsors. Let me show you this yarn. I know I've shown it before, but now you see it with the sock. This one is Vil Me Vilje, and this one is Blended Bolsha. Crazy about Vilje, mixed hard candies or bonbons, whatever you choose to call it. Aren't they just gorgeous? It's DK weight. And I'm quite excited about that. And then we were inspired in Denmark in the 80s and the 90s, aerobics were like the thing, I guess, all over the world. And remember those socks that kind of, you know, like fell down? So this is like a two-colored brioche to make that. And then it go, you know, it goes in a, a bit tighter right here around your ankle. And then down here, like these stripes, they come out better if it's not such a variegated yarn. But it doesn't matter. It's just fun. It's just all about the colors. Uh, remember those socks that had the, the stripes up here in Denmark? We call them tennis socks. <laughs> so it's kind of a, a, a mix match of those two 80s, 90s types of socks that Karen and I have tried to do in a knitted sock. So if you go like this, you can see just the brioche, but because it's just, it's fuller and looser. You can have your sock just fall down like this and scrunch up. I think that's so cool. I am working on another one, another size, and I'm trying to do it with fingering weight held double. This is its yarn. I bought this yarn myself, so this is not sponsored. And the two colors, whoops, I'm dropping the yarn here. Let's see. This is Dronning and Spouquet, the Queen's Bouquet. There we go. And this is Pastel Pink, Pastel Pink. I think they're really gorgeous together. So we'll see what comes of that. I have written the pattern in English. It will come out both in English and in Danish. And the Danish pattern comes with some uh, instruction videos by Karen. Um, I don't think the English pattern is going to come with instruction videos. I don't really know how we're going to do that yet. But you know, there's so many amazing instruction videos out there, especially in English. So like if you don't know how to do uh, two colored brioche in the round, you just 
put, put that into YouTube and you'll get all kinds of amazing ones. So yeah. More on that when the pattern is out. If you feel like you might want to try your hand at test knitting these socks, keep an eye out on Instagram. It shouldn't be too long before we can give out a call for test knitters. I think we have all our Danish test knitters lined up, so we would need a couple more for the English pattern. If you're from Denmark and you're used to knitting from an English pattern, that's just perfect. Doesn't matter where you're from. You just have to be used to the, uh, yeah, reading English patterns. So, yeah. Yes. So a new design, things are happening. <laughs> and now for the acquisitions part. I told you about the opal and I want to show you the rest. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> this is a line inspired by Vincent van Gogh, different paintings. I just want to cast all these on right away, but I have to be sensible because if I do, I'm not going to have time to work. And I'm pretty sure that my boss will not think that that is a good idea. Hello boss. It is me. I cannot come to work today because I'm knitting. I don't think so. <laughs> I think these are just amazing and the way that they caught the colors in the paintings is just so cool. So cool. Oh, look at this one for the fall. Oh, my word. That's so pretty. <laughs> Do you guys ever get kind of giddy when you see a color that you really love? <laughs> I do. <laughs> and I did when the sweet Molly from a home fun house posted again on Instagram. I need to stay away from Instagram. She posted that she had some new sock sets out. Look at these. Oh my gosh. This is unicorn dust. And this one is road trip. They are 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. Plump merino base, both of these. I love road tripping. Some of the best vacations I've ever been on was when Lars and the girls and I, we rented an RV in 2015 and drove around Europe. And we did the same thing in the States in 2016 and drove all around the South. We, among other things, visited my family in Texas. <sighs> I want to go back so bad. You know, the RV thing, I'm not really a camping kind of person, but as soon as I'm in an RV, I'm all good. <laughs> all right, amazing sock sets. Okay, let me think. Oh yeah. My friend Lone from A Lonely Sock Lady, she had, she has, um, how do you say that? She's cleaned out her stash. So she had something, some yarns that she was not going to be using and they were for sale. So I asked to buy this one. It is a hobby yarn, the Winter Glow. 51% wool and 49% acrylic. I've knitted my favorite ranunculus ever, ever, ever is in this yarn held together with a uh, uh, kid mohair, silk mohair. And I love it. But I've worn it so much that I need a new one. And every time I go to hobby, I look at this color and I just, oh, it just speaks to me. It is color number 21 in the winter glow. I got stuff on it. Oh no. So now I just have to find a mohair to hold it double with. I'll see. 
but Lona was, well, she is always the sweetest thing on earth. And she sent me an extra, an extra skein or an extra ball or whatever they're called. This is color number three. Isn't that gorgeous? It's wonderful. It's soft. I love the way the colors kind of play together. It's just amazing. Yes. Then I, I showed you this one already, this bag. I bought this at Ghana. That's a knitting store on the Danish island Ere. And they also sell charu needles. I don't have a, um, what do you call it, a vendor near me. So, I, well, I do, but last time I looked, they're sold out. And it, sometimes it, it takes some time before they get more. And since I was ordering the bag, I jumped at the chance to get myself some extra cables and an extra set of 2.25 needles. So I can knit more socks. <laughs> and when you order from Garna, here's their logo, you always get a little bag of tea. And I love tea, so that was so nice. Okay, last thing. I bought from Didico on Instagram. These amazing stitch stoppers. Can you see from the, from the glare? Two tiny cacti. Aren't they cute? What, but what actually caught my eye when I was looking on her webpage was these ones. They're stitch stoppers as well. So you put one needle in there and another one and then, yeah. I thought they were cool. And then she put this, these little stitch markers in there as a gift. They're so cute. So yeah. See now that was the acquisitions purchased by me. Now on to the happy mail. Look at this. It's Gilmore Girls. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I love the Gilmore Girls. It's, it's one of my favorite series ever. Look, it has Luke's fabric inside. Karen made this for me. We have been looking for Gilmore Girls fabric here in Denmark and it's just impossible to find. Luckily, Karen had a friend who brought her home something and since Karen is the sweetest person ever, she was like, um, I can share with you. Do you want a little piece of fabric so you can make yourself a bag? I was like, oh yeah, thank you so much. And she sent it to me. And in the package was this one that she made for me. Isn't it just cute? Like a little notions pouch. I haven't put anything in there yet because I wanted to show you guys first. But I think it's going to host maybe some of my, my stitch markers, some barber cords. Or maybe these ones, another gift. Um, see now, this is why I think this knitting community is so amazing. Not because of the gift, but because of the wonderful, amazing people I get to meet because of this podcast. I have been um, texting back and forth with Cindy, uh, who has been watching my podcast and we texted because she actually comes to Alborg every once in a while because some of her family moved here. And uh, the last time she was here, not too long ago, we met up in uh, the yarn store here in Alborg called Gan Uset. And we just sat there and had a fun time and knit a little bit. I got to meet her daughter and her cute, wonderful grandson. He was just, mm, I got to hold him too. <laughs> so thank you so much, Cindy, for spending time with me and to your daughter as well. I can't believe how patient that baby was. Oh my gosh. We we're just chatting and knitting and having a blast. He was just happy-go-lucky. <laughs> and Cindy brought me a present. It was in this really, really cute bag, which can also be a project bag. So amazing. And... She got me these, the little snips. 
I have some, but you can never have enough. And Cindy knows that I just love these. And she got me all three colors. <gasps> and this one, look at this. It's a cable needle. Isn't that just pretty? And I'm thinking maybe you can also use it like on a shawl to keep it together. I don't know. It's just so pretty. And then this yarn. That is actually... Maybe you can see it better like this. It's like a gradient. And it's dyed in the state where Cindy comes from. That's so cool. Yay. Thank you, Cindy. I love everything so much. So, so much. You know, for me, that is biggest reason for me to be sitting here is that I get to share with you guys you know and and it's like we take care of each other we you know whenever we write each other a comment or something or we meet up and we knit and yeah it's just it's such a wonderful and caring community to be a part of and the fact that I get to meet some of you in real life is just the best thing ever I have one last thing to show you, and then I want to tell you who won the giveaway this time. And in, um, you know, speaking of paying things forward, that is what we're going to do with the pay it forward present today, because I have to be a bit careful with using the G word. But one last thing, I told you I love tea, so I ordered some tea from my favorite tea store here in Denmark. It's in Copenhagen, also in Aarhus, but not in my uh, town. And it came with this wonderful bag. Look at that. Like a tiny tote. Isn't that perfect for a pro project? Like a sock project or something? I think it is. So, tea and a project bag. What's not to love? <laughs> Last time I told you about Anina, Ani Jutinitz. She is a podcaster from Finland. She's also a designer and she has designed the most beautiful socks. And Anina was so kind that she offered a pattern to one of my wonderful view viewers. And I asked you to subscribe and like and leave a comment um, on my last episode. And I drew a winner. And I have to be honest with you. I am always honest, but this is complete honesty for me. I drew a winner, and when I saw who it was, I was like, oh, well, do I have to draw another one now? Because she is actually a very dear friend of mine, and I know her very well in real life as well. But I decided, you know, I did the, you know, random common picker, so it's not just I chose because I want to give her a gift, which of course I do, who, who doesn't? But you know, this was randomly picked, so no tricks here. And with that, I want to say congrats, congratulations, Animette. I will put the picture with your comment on here so you guys can see that everything is legit. Um, send me a message on Instagram and I'll uh, um, help with the contact to Anina and we can figure out how you get your sock pattern. So congratulations and thank you all so very, very much for participating in the giveaway. Um, you know, when we do giveaways, sometimes we're also gifted things ourselves. And don't get me wrong, I love gifts. I mean, I'm a birthday girl. Just presents is my jam. I love it. Who doesn't? But I love given things to others so much more, so much more. And that is why being able to do these giveaways just, it brings me so much joy. And on that note, let's get to this one because this is a good one, you guys. They all are, but look at, wow. Oh my gosh. Um, in Denmark, we have a company called Mood. And this is sponsored content. It will also, it will also see, say so on the screen, just so nobody is in doubt. And um, I did something that I never do. I contacted them and I said, 
do you maybe want to do a collaboration with me and give something away to a viewer of mine of the podcast? And they were like, yes, let's do it. That sounds amazing. What should it be? And we wrote a bit back and forth. And that's when I discovered that I would be given one as well. So look at this beauty. This is a needle case. It's called the Stockholm case. And in here, I have all of my Chiaogu needles. I had two sets. I had a bamboo set and uh, uh, the metal set. I had the two small sets that goes from 2.75 millimeters to five millimeters because those are the sizes I use the most. And let me show you how I set up my needle case. As you can see, <laughs> I prefer the metal needles. The, the bamboo ones are amazing too. I just, I, I'm a metal needle girl. This, that's just the way it is. The needle gauge is right here and up here all the cables and you know the little notion thingies and stuff up here and then let me see if I can show you properly there's also if you have more stuff there's like a pouch right here we could put all kinds of things in and then you just roll it up and close it I think this is just amazing quality and the smell of leather you know mm, wonderful in the sound listen to this the texture the sound the smell the colors for me all those things together this just that that's what makes me excited about a product so yeah i chose the color whiskey but it also comes in black so for the winner, you will get to choose either a whiskey colored or a black. So your choice of a Stockholm case. I will draw a winner next time I podcast. It will be in September. Oh, yes, it will be in September because it has to be. I know I am busy, but I want to talk to you guys as well. It's very important to me. And what I would like you to do is this. I've been thinking a lot about what we can do for this giveaway because I want to do something to pay it forward. But I was like, well, if you go like this, it'll be all about you. And I don't want it to be about me, but I still want a lot of people to be able to know about this pay it forward present. And um, so what I've decided to ask you guys to do is subscribe to this channel leave me a comment down below write anything you want but make sure you include the words pay it forward because i will um, filter the comments so that the comments who will be entering are the comments including the words pay it forward so those are the the must things to do subscribe and leave me a comment including the words pay it forward now, if you want to pay it forward and make sure that other people uh, have the opportuni opportunity to win this case, take a screenshot of me smiling right here. Post it in your stories on Instagram. You can tag me if you like, I'll repost. Um, send them over here to watch and ask them to leave a comment. Maybe they will be the winner. It is uh, open worldwide um mood ships pretty much anywhere they do have a couple of places they don't ship i will uh, what i'll do is i'll go to their website and i will copy and paste the countries that they do ship to in the description box below as well so you guys can know if uh, it's a possibility to be able to enter but you know mostly yeah lots of, of countries are able to participate so yeah. just to make sure so you know everything out in the open and you know what's going on so yeah okay wow my piano is stacked with stuff 
in front of me too. Thank you so very, very much for being here. I really appreciate it. I cannot say that enough times. Two things I want to let you know before I let you go completely is that if you're here in Denmark on, let me see, I have my notes right here. <laughs> on September 24th, there is a knitting event in Hanning, i Strek i Højhuset, knitting in the skyscraper, I guess you could call it. Um, and I am fortunate enough to be doing a workshop there. My workshop, there's going to be three workshops. The two others about um, making a design fit perfect for you. My workshop is about um, learning to knit from English patterns. So if you're not comfortable with the English knitting terms, um, you can come to my workshop. It's a four hour workshop. Um, it's not a packed workshop. So it's where you, you get to learn the different English terms for the knitting. And then we try them out on one type of knitting and then another type and then a third type. But uh, Mette who is um, getting everything together and planning everything asked us to make sure that there's lots of time to talk Lots of time to knit. So it'll be all laid back and cozy and comfortable, but with a bit of new information. So if you want to know more about that, Meta has a Facebook and Meta is um, also on Instagram. I will leave all the information down below. She also has a podcast. It's called Streiklet. Very nice and hygly, as we say here in Denmark. I will link everything down below for you. So just Go to the description box and you will have information there. And if you watch the latest episode um, with Pia from 50 Fabulous, you will also have heard her announce that Knitathon number four is going on this October the 7th and the 8th. It will be starting Saturday, October. Uh, it will be starting Saturday, October 7th at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Danish time and ending on Sunday the 8th at 3 p.m. Danish time. That's Central European time. So yeah, and I get to participate. I get to do a live, play some music. I've done that the three first times as well, and it has been so much fun. Again, you know, connecting through our knitting is just such a pleasure. But more on that, when we get there, I will ask you guys to uh, request songs as usual because that's just so much fun. So yeah, but for now, thank you for being here. Take care. I wish you all the best and lots of hygge. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>